Hello, my name is Sonia and welcome to my channel. Usually my channel consists of mostly crochet, but today I thought we'd do something different, calling it Miscellaneous Monday since it's Monday. And sometimes we just need a break from crochet. So I thought I would talk about this fantastic haul that I got recently at a discount grocery store, which I love. I love discount grocery stores. So I'm going to talk about my skincare haul and I'm going to show you so I have two bags worth filled of skincare that I got and I, of course being me, I decided to see how much money I saved. So I spent about $82 for all the skincare items and then I went and I checked to see how much it would cost if I spent full price and or if I paid full price. Spent full price, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> so it came out to almost $1,400 of skincare that I was able to purchase at this discount grocery store. So I was pretty psyched about that. So I'm going to show you a couple items I got, and some of it is multiples. So I'm just going to show you the ones. So I have this, uh, most of it is La Roche Posay, which I have heard of. I never got to try it before. I didn't know that it's considered a drugstore brand, but it's kind of pricey for drugstore. I mean, drugstore to me is like $10 and under. And this sunscreen right here, it is for kids. It doesn't matter. I mean, we are very fair skinned in our family. Sunscreen is our friend, so I've used kids. But anyway, this sunscreen usually sells for around $20. So I was able to purchase it for $2.50. So $2.50 is pretty awesome to me. And my next item is again another La Roche Posay and it's called Anthelio 60 Melt In Sunscreen Milk. So again, another sunscreen item. And this one cost me $2.50, but let me look at my little cheat sheet here. So if I was to purchase this in the drugstore, it would be $35.99. So again, a pretty awesome deal, $2.50. And again, more sunscreen, we never have enough in our family. <laughs> All right, the next item is again, most of it was La Roche Posay. I never got to try it before. And I'm always up to trying, you know, different skincare because at this stage of the game, I'm 47, I need all the help I can get. So I'm always up to trying something new. Uh, so I have this anti-aging serum, pore refining, and a rough skin texture, visible pores, dull complexion. And as you do get older, you know, your skin, it just doesn't look as pretty as it used to. So I need to get all the help I can get, so I'm anxious to try it. So this sucker right here, this little guy, was 50 cents. And normally, if I would buy this in at the drugstore, it would have been about, let's see, $44.99. So, wow, that is pretty exciting to me. So 50 cents worth, or $44 worth, and I got it for 50 cents. Now, the problem is if I love it, then I'm gonna be like, oh, now I have to get it. Because the issue with discount grocery stores is you'll see like a once in a lifetime deal like this and then you'll never see it again. So that's why if you do see something really awesome in a discount grocery store, buy of it as much of it as you can. And also, word to the wise, buy something that you like, that you probably will use. Don't just buy it because it's really cheap. It's easy to fall into that trap and then you're really not saving money because then you come home and you're looking at everything you have and you're like, oh great, I've just spent all this money on stuff that I'm never gonna use. So we will use this. I have two girls. My, I have an 18 year old daughter. She loves skincare. I have a 12 year old daughter. And we're trying to start to teach her about the importance of taking care of your skin. But this one definitely is gonna be for me, anti-aging. I need it. So my next one that I am going to show you, a daily tone correcting primer. It has a SPF 50, which is pretty great. So this one, again, was 50 cents like the other one, and it actually has the price tag on it. So if I would have bought this in the drugstore, it would have been $39.99. So it's pretty exciting to me. And I do like to use primers before my makeup, so I'm excited to try this one as well. And we are gonna move along. Again, we have a La Roche Posay. It's a brightening foaming cleanser. This one was $2.50, and if I would have bought it, I'm gonna look at my cheat sheet. This one would have been 
$24.99. So $2.50 versus $24.99 is a pretty great deal. I'm pretty excited to try this as well. Again, I love skincare, love trying new things. And as I've gotten older, my skin has gotten fussy. And I have tried a few of this La Roche-Posay now that I've gotten this haul. And so far, you know, so good. My skin has been happy with it. Because sometimes it, my skin, I tend to be dry and it'll just get really dry and itchy and then it'll break out and it's just a mess. So, so far the, my skin's been happy with La Roche-Posay. So hopefully with the other items that I haven't tried yet, I'll still have success. So now we're going to move on to an acne kit. And since I do have teenagers, you know, this comes in handy. And this kit, if I, I bought this for $5 at the discount grocery store. And if you would buy this kit... In the drugstore or online, it's $29.99. So $5 versus $29.99 is really awesome. And I do can tell you my daughter, my 18-year-old daughter, she was having some breakouts and she just tried this and she's already noticed a difference. So she's pretty excited. So moving on um, to something that I have tried that I bought at my haul and I really love, really excited about. Problem is... <laughs> I really like it, so I don't think I'll get this great deal again. So now I'm going to have to spend the money for this uh, product that I love. <laughs> That's the downside of discount grocery stores. The nice thing is you didn't spend a lot. And if you don't like it, then you don't feel real bad about, you know, you know, blowing 50 cents or 250 or whatever. But this item is a BB cream. I never had tried a BB cream before. I actually didn't really know what a BB cream was. And basically to me, it's like a foundation and I really love this foundation. I uh, have issues with my skin. I'm 47 and you know, 47 comes with some issues. I have dark circles. I also have vitiligo, which has nothing to do with my age. So I have vitiligo around my eyes. So kind of a reverse raccoon situation. Plus I have age spots on top of the vitiligo. So it's all like around my eye area. It's just super awesome. And a lot of times with foundations, I like my skin to look like skin. And if I'm packing on foundation, concealer, it just tends to look cakey and yucky. And I feel like I just look older and you know, it just defeats the purpose of trying to look nicer. So this BB cream um, actually makes my skin look like skin. I use do use concealer first around my, um, you know, vitiligo, my dark circles, age spots, and I put this on top, and I love it. So this is it right here, and it does say that it's oil absorbing uh, for excess shine, blemish prone skin, and I tend to have drier skin, and I don't really feel like it's drying at all. I, I so I think that's the funny thing with certain foundations. They might say, you know, this is for oily skin or dry skin, and then you try it, and it's the complete opposite. And that's what I'm finding with this BB cream here. And I got this for 50 cents. And if I would buy this in the drugstore, it's $29.99. So I love this, and now I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to save up my pennies when I run out. <laughs> I'm really loving it. My skin is happy it's not itching sometimes foundations I tend to get itchy like right in this chin area or even on my forehead and I haven't had that issue I'm wearing it right now and my skin feels nice it, it just feels like skin so I'm not trying to plug this but I'm just happy that I found something you know really is working for me it's kind of one of those happy accidents so this one was 50 cents so an awesome deal enough of that uh, then I have three more to show you. So uh, it's another La Roche Posay and it's Active C10. And so vitamin C, aging skin. I thought, you know what? I need this product. <laughs> and it was 50 cents. So I can't go wrong. I haven't used it yet. You know, I have a lot of things to try. And I'm, you know, kind of try to use up what I have before I start you know I don't want to just put a whole bunch of stuff on my face so yeah I'm excited to try this stuff uh, so far the things I have tried La Roche-Posay have been working pretty well for me my skin hasn't complained and that's that's always a win for me the last two items this is an eye cream and it's supposed to it's a dark circle skin evening corrector brown and blue dark circles dullness of eye zone you know, I have all those things. I've, I've had dark circles since I was little. It 
just always been kind of the bane of my existence. Uh, now they, I feel like they actually have faded a little bit as I've gotten older, but now I have um, vitiligo popped up when I was in my early 40s, and then of course age spots, which, you know, that's just aging. I don't have a lot because I have used sunscreen consistently since my uh, teens. I started using it because I was just tired of getting sunburns. You know, I'm not, I, the sun and me, we don't get along. So, uh, so my age spots aren't terrible, but they're there. They just tend to be around this area, unfortunately, which is around the dark circles and the vitiligo. I have tried this a few times. It seems like a nice eye cream. And if you would buy this full price, this one is $42.99. So I, it's not like rocking my world. It's fine. It's nice. This is something that I probably wouldn't repurchase again once it's used up. There's plenty of other eye creams that are a lot more inexpensive that have worked just as well for me. And then my last item is a Garnier, let's see, a soothing facial mist made with rose water. And my 18 year old daughter loves this stuff. She has been using it a while. I got it for 99 cents. And to buy it, it is pretty inexpensive, even if you would buy this full price. I think it's, uh, I found it for $6.29 when I looked it up online. So that's not too bad. But hey, 99 cents, and I actually really like this. I've been kind of using it as, because my skin tends to be dry, so I, you know, put my foundation on. I do a very, very light dusting of powder, and after I do my um, blush, and I do a little bit of highlighter, I spray this on and it just kind of tends to freshen up everything. It takes away some of that dryness because I feel like as you get older, you need to kind of project more. You want to glow more. You don't want to mattify everything because it just, I feel like, sucks in the light and then you're going to see all of your imperfections. So you want to, you know, kind of mask that. So if you have more like glowier skin, fresher skin, I feel like it tends to make you look a little bit fresher, a little bit younger. I mean, maybe I'm full of it. I don't know. That's my theory and I'm going to stick with it. But anyway, I do really like this. I think it's really a nice product. Yeah, so this um, was a fantastic haul. I really do, again, recommend discount grocery stores. Uh, I like the mom and pop ones, and we do have quite a few where we live, which is really, really nice. And I will uh, post uh, some in the description box, some of the stores that I have gone to. I know the particular store that I went to might not be in your state, I live in Pennsylvania, so they're in my state, but if you just look discount grocery stores for your state, I'm sure a whole bunch would come up. And I've even driven almost an hour away and it's been worth it. I've, you know, I don't just buy skincare products, I buy groceries. And maybe another miscellaneous Monday video, I'll talk about, you know, the type of groceries I get at discount grocery stores if people are interested. They have helped save us a lot of money. You know, you can find some amazing deals like this fantastic skincare haul. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.